Here's a little video on a custom pinball machine topper I made out of a neon sculpture and an LED scrolling sign. Okay, I got another one of these LED scrolling signs. And it comes with like updated software compared to my other signs. It's called the iBoard program. And to get it to work, I had to right click on it and click run as administrator. And that's the only thing that would make it work. But then it then it works fine. And it comes it's pretty much the same. You enter your text you can update an image, an animation, a GIF animation, and then once you do all your stuff, you can uh, put in effects, like animation effects in between, and then you click send, and it updates it onto the sign. And I got it to work on my Windows 10 laptop. And in Photoshop, I made like a 130 frame GIF animation. It's like a little pinball bouncing around. Here's the neon sign. I got it from Firehouse Neon. Uses zero watts when it's off. And when the sign is on, it's showing about 8 watts. The sign is about 10 inches by 10 inches. And the overall height is about 14 inches tall. Here's the sign in the dark. The colors don't show up good on the camera. The pink is actually like really pink. And the blue is really blue. Kind of looks white on the camera. One thing that is wrong with it, really, is like the sign is like leaning back, the glass part. But it's, you know, it's not that bad. And I chose this because the colors kind of matched. It's got pink and blue and red. And the pinball machine has a lot of pink. And it's also music themed, rock and roll where this is like music and dancing. And I installed some gripper pads on the bottom and I actually like screwed the sign to the base. Keeps it nice and sturdy.